Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. In our math lessons this week, you are going to be introduced to a new number. And you are going to be introduced to a new concept. This week, we are going to learn about number nine. And we are going to learn how to compare objects by size. Let's begin our lessons with the new number. We are going to count the lollipops that we have here. Let's start together and please use your fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many lollipops do we have? We have nine lollipops. Let's count the mugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this week, you are going to be introduced to number nine. This is number nine. Number nine comes after number eight. Now, let's learn the right formation for number nine. First of all, we have the dot. Here we have the dot. We always start from the dot. Do you remember how we write the sound A? Ah? We are going to begin writing number nine with the sound A. Ah. We start from the dot. We go to the left round. We close the circle. And then a straight line down to the bottom. You can get a piece of paper and write number nine with Miss Tyler. Here we have the dot. You go round, close the circle and a straight line down. Well done. And now we are going to move to the new concept, which is compare objects by size. When we look at these chairs, how many chairs do we have? Two chairs, one and two. Who can tell me what is the difference between the two chairs? Now, both chairs have the same color. But what is different about these two chairs? They are different in size. One chair is small and the other chair is big. So one chair is small and the other one is big. Now let's take a look at the bear and the squirrel. The bear is a big animal and the squirrel is a small animal. So here we have small and we here we have big. Now let's take a look at the elephants. This elephant is a big elephant and this elephant is a small elephant. So this is the way we compare objects by size. We use the words small and big. Number nine. 